Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is all about helping you guys edit your photos and your videos professionally, but for free. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to fake a panorama using Darktable. Let's go. Right guys, so here's the image that we're going to work with. I'm going to show you guys real quick how to change this in a panorama view. If you guys would like to know how I've edited this photo, please let me know in the comment section down below and we'll make a video on this. I've used the exposure module and the color lookup table module, the color balance module, the contrast equalizer module and the denoised and sharpen. Let me show you guys the original one. So here's the image that I've started with and then I've changed it into this. Right, so now let's start with the reason you guys are here. Let's search for the crop and rotate module. Let's activate it. And by default, the value for the expect is freehand. And we're going to change that. So we basically got four options. The first one is CinemaScope, making it nice and wide. The second one is 21 by 9, which is a very cinematic look as well. And we can use the anamorphic one, which is a little bit wider. But Darktable by default comes with 3 to 1 panorama. Let's click it. And there you go. Now it's nice and wide. I'm going to double click it. And there you go. So now we've got a panoramic look in Darktable using the crop and rotate module. And that's it. I hope you guys like it. If you want to see more of me, click that playlist over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by hitting that button over there. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time. Do it.